I, I just want to say, this is research. I am a researcher. They send me these things all the time from academia. 2,085 mentions and so forth, and one in a scientific academic paper just recently. Anyway, that this is research. Please allow this. Don't don't disallow this for whatever reason, because it is research. It needs to be seen. Okay, my friends, Roger, Mount Foster University. This is research, and it is research, and I will present material research to support everything I say. And it, this is being fully understood now by even the medical industry, but they are, for some reason, not bringing it to the forefront. And it, ne and it needs to be talked about in a specific way. We need to understand what is the gut enzymes that are missing, what bacteria are missing in the guts of the people that are getting seriously ill, and which, what can we put in there, will it bring them back? And I say I believe it will. They are not looking at it correctly. They are looking at some kind of an interventionist drug where they should be looking at getting the gut back in shape. That is what brings the, the, the um, people back to being fully functional again. You have to have the bacteria to create the enzymes. The enzymes do the chemistry. Simple as that. And I, can sh I show this in extreme detail. Now, let's see how the government is handling this. This is UC San Diego Health. How are doctors treating COVID-19? No, I say Because SARS-CoV-2 is a new virus, we're still learning how it works and trying to figure out the best ways to treat it. Okay, a, an immune virus. I mean, a virus is nothing more than a molecule of chemistry. Some of them are alive. Some of them uh, they could not be alive. They're just, you know, uh, what they call a pathogen, a toxin. Some of them are biologically active and destructive. At the moment, the best treatment for patients with COVID-19 is to provide them with supportive care, such as cough medicine to ease their cough, acetaminophen to reduce their fever, and sometimes antibiotics. All right. Antibiotics, absolutely. I mean, you might need them to fight off, I and mean, it's such an extreme an invasion of, of this COVID-19 because you cannot fight it yourself. But the antibiotics are going to weaken you. What you need is probiotics. You need your own body to create the chemistry. And I show this because you, uh, I guess it was UC Berkeley, developed some new photo techniques that they can watch these bacteria creating enzymes and they just absolutely elegant gigantic molecules created instantaneously and then they go out and they gobble up and eat up and kill different bacteria or, or whatever is invading you they do the chemistry you don't have them you're in trouble so they're not looking at the enzymes that are being created by the bacteria. They're just looking at how can we stop the inflammation and how can we deal with the, the effects. I want to deal with the reasons, the causes. In severe cases, patients may receive oxygen support or be put on a ventilator, which can do the breathing for them. Currently, a worldwide collaboration of scientists and doctors is working to find treatment options by exploring existing drugs. Called the Solidarity Trial, they're working on clinical trials to test four therapies recommended by the World Health Organization. Not one of them has anything to do with probiotics or enzymes. These therapies include remdesivir, a drug that was originally developed to treat Ebola, chloroquine or hydroxychloroquine, a treatment for malaria and arthritis, the HIV combination drug ritonavir lopinavir, and an anti-inflammatory compound called interferon beta in combination with ritonavir lopinavir. The goal of these studies is to find out if any of these treatments slow the progression of the disease and improve survival. These drugs are all promising because they've already been shown to be safe for humans under specific circumstances, though it will take more work to be sure they're safe for use with COVID-19. Probiotics are, I don't think there's any, ever been shown anywhere that there's any harm from them. From, from probiotics. I could be wrong. I'd like to hear, this is what we need to discuss. This is what we need to engage. But if you don't have those enzymes and those bacteria in your body, you will need some intervention because you're going to have some invasion. Other potential therapies include treating patients with plasma from people who have already recovered from COVID-19. 
All right, what you are going to get from plasma from somebody that's recovered is you're going to get their bacteria or their enzymes. Hopefully you get their bacteria and it repopulates your body and then you very likely are going to be fine. But um, you may not experience any recovery at all. It depends. What, what did that person, how, how strongly did that person recover? That person may not have recovered f completely. And, and whatever antibodies or whatever, um, I'm sorry, whatever um, probiotics are in that plasma may not be adequate to heal you. So just getting somebody else's plasma may not be the, the, the solution, but it might. Which might help boost the levels of helpful antibodies that can fight the virus. Exactly. This work is happening around the world and right in our own backyard. Here in the UC system, including UC San Diego Health, a new clinical trial on remdesivir is set to go through 2023. But not every patient has access to clinical trials or plasma therapy, which is why finding a vaccine for SARS-CoV-2 will be the key to finally eliminating the virus from our community. All right, I, all I would ask for, and this is all I have ever asked for, is a survey, a study, just a questionnaire to say, did you get COVID-19 when you were taking probiotics? Have you been taking probiotics regularly and you still got COVID-19? How was the effect that you got? How bad was it? What were your symptoms? Just a, bunch, just a half a dozen questions. And then when you were recovering from it, did you, if you took probiotics, what did it do? And just to try to get a baseline of does it help? And I'm I'm going to tell you right now, I would be very surprised if it said it wasn't very, very effective. I am getting this from everyone. I have 88,000 people now on my YouTube channel, and I have had zero, and I'm serious, zero say that they caught COVID when they were taking probiotics. Zero. And I've been asking for months. For months, and I have nothing but every. Oh boy! Since I've been taking the probiotics, I feel fabulous. All kinds of problems solved. Marguerite's son, is, autism is is you know, virtually gone, and he was nonverbal. I mean, he still got some little bit of autism in him, but it's only been a year or so he's been on the probiotics, and he's 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 verbal and he's he's doing all kinds of things that just every kid does. It's. Without having even Alzheimer's, put in any any disease whatsoever, followed by gut health, and you will find that it says there's a certain gut signature of the the um, bacteria that's in your gut related to that specific disease. It's as simple as that. And I want the survey done. That's what I'm asking for. I don't see any reason that shouldn't be done. All the, the research they're doing, millions and millions and millions of dollars, all I'm asking for is a questionnaire. A couple hundred bucks worth of paper. Not, not even that. I don't have the ability to do this, but they should. They should be able to follow the patients and say, here, you guys take some probiotics. You guys don't take probiotics. Let's see what happens. It's as simple as that. Okay, my friends, I'm going to leave it at this, but I'm going to do a mock trial on um, academia because it's the problem goes beyond not understanding the problem is that they are not allowed to speak if you speak up they will crush you and if you don't speak up the words that they want to hear they will destroy you literally destroy you in academia and i am standing up and i am not guy because i can't what are they going to do to me i mean I, I, I don't care. <laughs> so I am going to speak, but anybody that wants to keep their job or wants to make an income, they're done. So stick with me and you can get the truth. Mud Fossil University on YouTube.